Most people in dancehall right now, especially overseas, them have Bogle as one of the originators, one of the godfather. But was he the first dancehall dancer? Well, no. I have Armstrong, I have Laba Laba before him. Even, uh, so who do you do all the dancing? You remember like all Della Move and them dance? Admiral Bailey is not a dancer, he's an artist. Who did make the dance for that? Admiral Bailey. Also create the dance for it. Della Move. You get me? So he also sing about it. Snagapus also come sing about Tati. But Tati is also after Bogle dance. You get me? So before Bogle we're talking about is Armstrong, Laba Laba. Tell us what made Bogle the king then. They were just doing freestyle dancing. Bogle come and put groove and flow into dancehall dancing. That's what made him be the king. Before Bogle, I don't know if I remember hearing a dancer doing collaborations with artists like this and you know, like when, when you have Bogle with, with Bujabantan, World Dance, Beanie Man. Was that something common in those times? Um, that, as you can see, Collaboration with artists, it always has come from a long time because Bogle collaborated with Bojo Bantan for the Bogle dance, being a color with Bogle for the world dance. So, Deli Ranks come and collect, connect with him and said, Help a dance. So, it always did Laba Laba and Armstrong do, do, do anything like no, that? They never get no chance for nobody to come and collaborate with them because they never were creating the dance that they can put it out so people can know that they are the creator for dance. They were more doing like freestyle dance all dancing into dance. So Bogle was one of the first to create to dance? To create dance and put it together and put it out there in the market. What was the first Bogle dance that you remember? Bogle. Bogle. The whole Jamaica know it. The whole world? The whole world know it. And remember, don't Bogle with gun fingers. Free flowing fingers. Bogle never create a dance promoting violence. Never ever. Check out all of his dancing then. None. Because back then technology was around so nobody get to, could get to see how the dance created fully, you know. So they just do it the way they can get to do it. But definitely when you look and see how it created, you'll find out that no gun finger is in that dance. It's free flowing. And so Bogle was one of the first dancers to create dances and market first the dances. First international choreographer. What were some of the things that made him even special, even as a character, as a personality? His fashion. <laughs> his fashion is number one. If you see this man and you don't know him as a dancer, the fashion speaks for himself. This fashion, because sometimes you not talk. The man has the fashion, the style, the slang. Style and style and style can spoil. Them man they say that. They hear that. And them man they come back and say fashion over style. They hear that. So anybody who want to know and learn about the business about being a dancer and know how to live in dance as a dancer, watch Black Bogle documentaries and you know how to do it. If Bogle was around right now, what, what do you think you would have to say about the current state of dancing in... You think you'd be happy to see where it reach no. overall? No man, no man. No, man. You better tell all of them to come back to basic because I don't say it go. <laughs> what am I doing right now? I don't say it go. So, what I can say now, one thing I would say to all of them, Come back to basic. Start over back. <laughs> <laughs>